What is going on ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Jay's Two Cents, bringing you videos to try and educate and empower you to make better decisions when it comes to PC and technology buying. And today we're gonna go ahead and discuss the concept of future proofing. In the short amount of time that I've been doing YouTube videos regarding PC building and technology subjects, I can't even name the amount of times I've been asked about how to build a computer that's future proof. Hey Jay, I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars. How can I future proof my computer? Hey Jay, I'm gonna upgrade my graphics card. Which graphics card is future proof? A few things we have to talk about when it comes to the concept of future proofing. One, you've gotta go ahead and forget the term completely. There is absolutely no concept of future proofing when it comes to computers or computer components. I think a better way to think about it would be the concept of cost efficiency because what you want to do with cost efficiency is you want to get the most out of your money some of the most common things i'm asked about when it comes to future proofing is should i go amd or should i go intel or should i go hard disk or should i go solid state is it worth it and probably the most common question i'm asked every single day should i go with amd or should i go with nvidia now you're going to have to ask yourself how long do you need the hardware to last you because you see software games rendering software, Photoshop, Adobe Suite, all of this stuff is gonna evolve eventually beyond your current hardware. So if you've got $1,000 to spend, how long do you have before you can drop more money into your computer? And naturally, the amount of performance that you're gonna get out of your system is gonna directly depend on how much money you put into it. Now, one of the things you have to consider too when it comes to the concept of future-proofing, or as I like to say, say it with me now, cost efficiency. If you only have $1,000 to spend today, and you know you're not gonna be able to spend any more money on this computer for any reason inside of two years, it's gonna last you two years, you're gonna to wanna to go with the best bang for the buck. Now for a lot of people, people are gonna blindly say, go with Intel, or you're gonna get fanboys who are gonna say, go AMD. They're not gonna really take into consideration how are these processors performing today versus today's current software. Now what I mean by that is, if you go with a dual core setup like an i3, it's gonna save you money today, but software every single day is becoming more and more optimized for multiple threading. Even a quad core is starting to become obsolete when it comes to programs like Adobe. Adobe is starting to take all eight cores of an FX processor into account as it is. Or if you have an i7, all eight threads with the four cores and the hyper-threading. Another thing you have to ask yourself when it comes to future-proofing is, how long has the current hardware been out at the time that you're looking to buy? What I mean by that is the Intel i7 series has already been out for several years. And the current platform right now, as you can see right here, is the LGA775. This happens to be an i7-3770K. Now we all know that Haswell is right around the corner and it's likely that sometime later this year, Haswell's gonna be released. So what's gonna happen? The price on this is gonna drop. Now, if you buy this today, you're gonna buy it at a premium and you're gonna spend full retail on this processor. But what if three months from now, this processor drops by 100 or even $150? What happened right there? Your cost efficiency just fell. If you do your research and you see that you're on the cusp of emerging technology, chances are prices are gonna start falling and they're gonna start falling likely after you buy the current hardware if you don't wait. Now, of course, a lot of these manufacturers don't really give you a heads up on when they're planning on releasing this hardware, usually only a week or two headway. And the reason for that is they don't want you to wait. They want you to buy this now because this becomes pure profit for them because they've already manufactured all of these. These are probably not being manufactured at a very high rate any longer because all of the manufacturing processes have already been moved to the new platform. There's nothing more frustrating than buying a new processor or a new graphics card only to have it become immediately obsolete because of the fact that you you bought it right on the cutting edge of technology evolution. So when it comes to cost efficiency or future proofing, just remember these things. One, there is no such thing as future proof. Anything you buy today at some point is gonna become obsolete. Future proofing implies that the hardware that you buy today is immune to the future, and that is just not the case. So if you live by the standard and you live by the motto of cost efficiency, you'll start to look at it a whole different way. So if you go ahead and immediately just purge yourself of the idea of having a future-proof computer, and you start looking at anything you're about to buy or build in the concept of cost efficiency, you just may surprise yourself on where you end up spending your money. This has been a Jay's Two Cents video dispelling some of the myths regarding future-proofing and getting you to rethink the way that you think about building and buying a new computer and about the idea of cost efficiency. 
I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, don't forget, subscribe to my vlog channel, link is down below. Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and if you've just stumbled across this video or somebody shared it with you, click that subscribe button. I've got a lot of videos that you may find and I'm gonna empower you to make the right decisions when it comes to you and your technology. Until next time, see you later.